Hello and welcome to this video. Now we're not doing a book review, it just happens to be the same area for this video. I am denied about filming this but I've just decided to go with it. Um, it's an idea I had before lockdown but I was going to do it better and purchase more stuff. So what I'm going to be doing today is attempting for the very first time in my life, and I am very nearly 30, to do a proper face of makeup. Why we're gonna put on some sort of foundation stuff and concealer and all of that, which is not something I've ever done. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm very scared that I'm going to end up like an umpa lumpa because obviously all the other people that I know of, they went through that phase of the, the line, the orange line, when they're a teenager and I don't want to start that now that I'm nearly 30. Obviously, as I said, I was going to buy some more products. I was going to go to Primark and buy, you know, eyebrow stuff and bronzers and things because it'd be cheaper there. But I haven't been able to do that. I have found a video that I watched on YouTube of a girl that had a similar skin tone to me. So I do have... Uh, where did I put it? So I have purchased the Garnier BB Cream and concealer so that we can attempt to do this properly and yeah, wish me luck. When you clicked on this every everyday makeup video you weren't expecting someone that never done it before were you? So I'm going to change the angle a bit because if you can see here my mirror is on the wall but there's not a lot of space for me, this tripod, and being able to look in the mirror and do this properly. Um, so I will be moving you. You might see a lot of mess because behind this is Pete's office and it's not the tidiest of places. Um, so apologies about whatever background you're going to get, but let's give this a whirl, shall we, and see what mess I make. Alright, so I've got the mini headband on. Um, my, I've cleaned my face. So I guess the first thing we do is apply the BB cream. Let's go with that. I also have one of these doofers. One of these things. Because it might make it easier. So we'll see what we do. I mean, how much of this do we even use? Like, how much do you put on? Um, for anyone that's this interesting, this is the Garnier BB Cream in light. The box didn't really have any instructions on it, so we're gonna wing it. Do you think that's enough, or do you think I'm gonna need more? And then I guess I just blob it on my face. <laughs> you can see it, it's technical, this. Uh, 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 and then how do we... It smells nice and stuff though. We might have needed a bit more. I can't really get to my forehead with it. I can't see whether it's made any difference whatsoever. Does it, does it look like it's made a difference? What What do we think? Do I do I have a scary orange like line around my neck? Possibly. Is my face now a completely different colour to the rest of my body? Also possibly because I obviously had no way of testing these colours to know whether they were going to match my face. So I think that's part one. Obviously I'm not doing this in very good lighting either, so I don't know whether I'm doing this very well. Next, we're going to use concealer, so it's the Collection Perfect Lasting Perfection Concealer. I guess we put this round areas that we want to conceal, obviously. Um, oh, the big dark areas of my eyes. 
Should I just go out like this? I guess I use this thing again. Is that all in? Do you think? Sure, we'll go with that. And as I said, if I was able to buy everything that was after, I would have got something for these eyebrows of mine and some bronzer of such, which I don't know how to use, but. So I guess we're gonna have to move on to eyes, which is something I do. If I am gonna wear makeup, I will be wearing eye makeup. And I do prefer my bottom eyelids to be lined. And again, I'm just using the collection eye pencil. So we'll do that bit first. I'll have to, sorry about any stupid faces I make. If I was going out, I'd probably do this thicker, but as we're doing a, an everyday thing, we'll just do a light, a light one. See, the reason I've never really worn makeup is that no one's really ever taught me. My mum's not a big one on makeup anyway. So I never really watched her do it. I mean, she does eye makeup and stuff like that. And then two is obviously I've got a skin condition. So I've always been a bit scared of putting on makeup in case it looks really rubbish with my dry skin and things like that. But it's time to try. I'm getting older, so I need to uh, try and do some stuff. I'm just going to put some mascara on my eyes. Talk to you. I think this is collection two because it's obviously the cheapest makeup brand. Um, which is probably why I have it. Um, this looks really old as well. And then three, I'm lazy would be the answer to number three as to why I don't really wear makeup. Now what I'm doing now is not something I will do every day. I know I've titled this an everyday makeup routine, but I'm so used to seeing me without makeup that having makeup on's a bit but it would be nice to actually be able to do it for events and going out and stuff and you know the odd day that I feel like it it'll be weekends when I have some time I would not bother for work I know some people do and some people won't be seen dead like I normally am but there's that um, so we're gonna try and use some eyeshadow we've got the uh, Makeup Academy little palette. I've had this for a long time. Do our shadows go out of date? Let's hope not. Again, not my forte, none of this is, so we'll give this a go. See, I normally go dark at the bottom, light at the top. Is that what I'm supposed to do, or should I be going lighter in the corners? But we'll, we'll do what I normally do and hope for the best. So what shade is that that I normally use? So I normally use China and Butter on my eyelids. So it's just this one here and then this one at the top. Um, so we'll, as I say, we'll do what I normally do and see what happens. Not that I wear, I mean eyeshadow. I, eyeshadow I wear very, very rarely. So much so that you're probably not even going to notice anything. I kind of wish I got into makeup though as a, a teenager. At least enough to to by now have a decent like, look. Because when I go out and stuff, I do sometimes feel quite drab compared to some people, but. Let's just go for the colour above. I don't even know, as I said, I keep saying this, but I don't even know if this is making any difference at all. Like, I don't know. I guess the, the only other thing I can do with what I own is to put on some lipstick. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I got these little snow white ones. So this is Bashful. It's the one I've been using whenever I've worn lipstick at the moment. Unless I'm going out and then I like um, this lip stone, it's darker and it's super easy to put on. So let's give this one a go. It's 
so there we have it is that a difference that would be my first ever time actually putting on like proper makeup just for the hell of it right so there you have it there's my first ever attempt at an everyday makeup routine i don't know whether i've been particularly successful but it's a starting point and one that we can certainly build off when we can get to the shop to uh I certainly feel the need for something for my eyebrows actually if i'm looking at it like that but we as i say as a starting point that wasn't too painful or stressful and i feel like i can certainly apply things if that's not difficult and i will only get better as i do it more often so on that note if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye